everyone, Carmen here. I hope you're doing well. I miss you guys so much. Um, first, I just want to apologize that it has been forever since I put up my last video, sometime last week, I think, um, because I went on a business trip with my company, with Starbucks, and um, if you haven't seen them already, be sure to go check them out. I actually posted a couple videos of some surprise guests that we had and um, just a little bit about the experiences, but um, it was incredible, so incredible. And I just don't even have words for how awesome it was and just, um, it was just so, so amazing. They just really basically loved on all of us and just reminded us of the importance of what we do and how that we are valued and really just made it an amazing week but it was constant so I literally just got a couple hours of sleep not a couple but very few hours of sleep each night and had to be back up by like 5 a.m. the next day and um, it was just a lot <laughs> so I did not have time to film and then I got home Sunday and then I had to get right back into um, my work here and so this is my first day off so I'm just excited to make a video and I wanted to let you guys know I'm so sorry and I have missed you so much um oh elephant in the room I just cut my hair today hello um I love it so much I don't know how well it looks right now because I've been you know messing around for a while but um but I just kind of got our special guest that came to Starbucks if you check out the video you'll see who it is um, or that she came to our Starbucks conference. She actually had her hair cut similar to this and I thought she looked so beautiful and it just I've kind of been wanting to cut my hair for a while at the same time I've wanted to grow it out and I just couldn't decide what I wanted to do, but um, I just kind of got a whim I, I just randomly decided I'm just gonna go cut all my hair off today. I do that sometimes um, <laughs> I just want to keep it exciting, you know, so I'm excited to show my husband because he hasn't seen it yet, but I'm really, really rambling, so I'm going to get started. These are September favorites, um, just some items that I have really been enjoying over this last month and wanted to share with you. So my first one, we'll jump right in, is my Revlon um, Photo Ready Bronzer in Bronzed and Chic. I think this is the only shade that it came out in, um, but it's kind of hard to show you because mine did crack, but you can see it's the four quadrants. And um, if you swatch the color, it comes off like that. If you do like a, if you go through all the different shades, like in a circular motion, you'll get a nice bronzed shade that you can do all over the face. Um, Emily Noel 83 actually uses this all the time and loves it. I think she's the reason I got it in the first place. Um, and then you can kind of play around with the different shades or um, use the bottom two to contour your face. But I actually found myself um, going to this a lot last month and I just really really have enjoyed it and I forgot I had it honestly I have quite a few bronzers right now um, But really this is like nine dollars at the drugstore So I really recommend it if you're looking for an inexpensive bronzer that does the job. It's completely matte and um, I think just has such versatility. It's really a valuable product and well worth the money. So yes, good 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 Love it Next up, I just had to mention this because I found myself using it constantly. This is the um, e.l.f. Translucent Mattifying Powder. So I ordered it online and I just wanted to get um, a powder to help with my, um, I'm oily in my T-zone, not on my cheeks, but um, and it, I just wanted something to help with that that hopefully wouldn't look too cakey. And this is, um, it does a pretty good job. Um, it doesn't have, it has a, just a tiny bit it says it's translucent, but I feel like it has just a little bit of coverage. Um, and obviously you can see that it does have a bit of a, a little bit, sorry, I'm blinding you, a little bit of color to it. But um, it's really been nice and I've enjoyed it this month. All right, moving right along, we'll just go into lip products. Okay, lip butters. I have three um, and I have found myself out of all my lip products I have, especially this last month, constantly wanting to use these. I just feel like if you use these, I'm wearing it now, um, in the color, very smoothie. Um, but if, when you go to use this, it just gives such a wonderful moisturizing feeling to your lips and you can kind of just, you know, continue to layer it to get more of a color, um, to get the color as rich as you like. And it doesn't really bother you to layer it because it feels so good on the lips and it's just, wonderful. So I just find myself wanting to use them all the time. So the shades that I have are, let me show you that again. This is the um, 
very smoothie. This is the one that has kind of been, sorry if these are a little <laughs> dirty looking. Um, and this is the one that has been my like go-to fall lipstick so far. I've just really, really been enjoying it a lot. And the next one, I really, um, when I'm in the mood for a fun pink, this was kind of stepping out of the box for me. I didn't used to buy as many pink lipsticks, but Mel MPHS, Melissa, that's her channel, um, is always talking about how she loves pink lipsticks. And I thought, well, shoot, you know, I need to try some pink lipsticks. So I'm trying to branch out. So that was Cupcake, which is really super fun. I love that. And then I, as you all know, I love some nude lips. And um, this is the nude lip butter in creme brulee um, and as you can see it's just a pretty nude um, but I've really been enjoying that as well so last month I'm just going back and forth between these three shades really and um, sometimes using this as well now this is awesome I think I mentioned it in a much older video this is the Bonnie Bell lip light in uh, strawberry strawberry that's all it says. I thought it was like parfait or something. Um, and it smells like, uh, I don't know. The smell doesn't really bother me. It's hard to describe it though. Um, I don't know if it's actually supposed to smell like strawberries. I don't really smell strawberries, but it smells nice. Um, and that's the applicator. And it's just like super, uh, let me just layer this on top of what I'm wearing. Opaque. And I think it was supposed to be a somewhat similar dupe for NARS Turkish Delight, which I can't really speak to that because I don't, I have never tried NARS Turkish Delight. I would love to one day, but um, I'm trying to think. N. Garriaro 19 um, actually mentioned this and um, said it was, she saw, thought it was a great dupe for NARS Turkish Delight and loves it. And these are just a couple dollars. So I have enjoyed it so much that I will probably go try some of the other colors. And it's just so, so cheap. I mean, this is like for kids, right? <laughs> But I love it. Okay, so those are my lip products for last month. Another thing I've been enjoying, and you all know about it, are gel liners. It was kind of my month to get back into gel liners. I started with Maybelline Eye Studio, which is awesome. It just came with a horrible, horrible brush. And I didn't have a brush that really worked well for me. So then, my good friend, Teresa Sheik, here on YouTube that I love so much, um, recommended this, which is the... Uh, L'Oreal Infallible Lacquer Liner 24 Hour. Um, and it's beautiful, super creamy, has like a sheen to it. Um, and it's just an awesome formula. And it came with a wonderful brush that I continue to use and love so much. And I'll actually use it with both of my liners um, because both of these formulas are awesome. I have to really just recommend both of them. They're different. This one does really have, I guess, more of that smooth sheen to it. But this is just really creamy. Um, and just a really nice, deep, rich black and goes on very smooth. So I love both of them and especially love the brush that came with the L'Oreal Infallible bleh, Infallible Lacquer Liner. Okay, Ooh, moving on. So if you didn't know that I loved these, now you do. <laughs> um, yeah, I kind of went a little crazy with these. So if you couldn't tell what they are, it's the Maybelline Eye Studio Quads. Um, I guess I won't swatch all of these because it would be a pretty long video, but we'll just kind of bust them all open for you to look at up close, and I'll swatch a couple. This is Sapphire Siren, so this is just like a beautiful, like, I think I did actually do um, a face of the day with this look, and it's just like super rich, super dark, very pretty, and I just love the shade on the end with the black with the sparkles in it. Gorgeous. Um, this is so awesome. Um, this shade is called Olive Martini. Looks like this. And this is the one that has a bit of that duochrome um, in it. And uh, just some other really, really pretty shades. You can see there. Just a gorgeous combination. That's definitely one of my favorites. Um, this one I picked up because I have brown eyes and I know purple is really good for brown eyes. I just wanted to get something purple. I was just in a mood. So it's called Purple Icon. There's the shades. The purple is not picking up at all on the camera. Um, but it's just very soft, like a soft, light gray purples. Um, but super, super pretty on. And then this I think is just ideal for fall. This one is Mad for Mauve. 
um, and the colors are gorgeous. I thought it was pretty unique that it had that awesome green in there. Okay, see that? Just 